The pandemic has changed almost everyone's job, and for school nurses, it's also bringing a lot of responsibility and also stress. Imagine the job they have. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc takes us to CNS to see what nurses are dealing with there. The first thing we do is put our gown on. Peg Puma has been a school nurse for 16 years. Before COVID-19, she's never had to put full PPE on in a school hallway. Put the face shield on. This is the attire when evaluating students with COVID symptoms. At CNS, they bring them to this evaluation room, which has an air filter shutting the door behind them. It's cleaned on a daily basis, especially if a symptomatic student was in there. Students can't even enter the building until they get their temperature checked first. And this is one of the ways to do it. They have this new technology where the students will stand in front of the screen and it'll give them the green light. Any cold symptoms or fever, obviously, we get rid of all of their parent you know, tell them that they have to go home and explain the process for returning to school. If a student is sent home, they have to see their doctor within 48 hours, and they will decide if they need a COVID test. If the provider doesn't feel they need a test, the student needs a doctor's note to return to school. If the provider cannot clear the student of COVID, they need a negative test before coming back. What's hard is that the parents aren't always very happy with what we have to say, and unfortunately, we're just following the state and county health department guidelines. A difficult balance for the nurses, who also have to keep track of who should and shouldn't be walking the hallways. It's been a lot of paperwork, a lot of following up with people, you know, and we really miss the kids. You know, that's one of the reasons you become school nurses, because you like the students. And they all want them to be healthy. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. And the new state guidelines say that if a student is not seen by their health care provider within 48 hours of being sent home, they will be a presumed positive case. Starting this week, Onondaga County is doing more proactive asymptomatic testing.